we'll try to understand and learn how to do things and business with South America. South America is a very special uh, sign in the world. Uh, it's a political, cultural, economical, and social very different from one country to another country. Uh, you can be an example in Chile, and you can have uh, the last iPad, and people is building websites, and four hours by car, people is living in the, is homeless, uh, is, and it's an ex country. So we, we have a big difference between one and another country. So, the thing is, the facts. Like it or not, this is reality. Uh -huh. We have many um, stupid people as government right now, as president right now, and uh, the, stupid, the, the most stupid of all is the Chilean one. So we have uh, Venezuela's president, Bolivia's president, Ecuador's president, uh, Uruguay, Paraguay's president, and Argentina and Chile. This, this one is a very close group. All of them has the same vision about Latin America or South America. They think in the Boliv Bolivarian dream, uh, the vo el sueño bolivariano, which means uh, no frontiers, no barriers, one only big country. This one, don't believe in that dream. No problem, hello. This one, don't believe in that dream. He believe in freedom of economy. Uh, he believe in market. He believe in the market, put the price, the market, the market, take the decisions. So we are in Chile a little alone in the region because we don't play the game of the others. But the others one, have a very special game. This is our continent. We have Central America and South America. If you can see, there is approximately 21, 22 countries, which is a lot. But all this area is the conflicted one. So. The problem, the credit card access. In South America, to have access to the credit card, you have to, have, you, you have to win uh, a very good money per month. If you ha uh, our salaries are not for hours, it's per month. We, have, we need to work uh, 45 or 48 hours uh, per week and at the end of, of the month, we have the, the payment. Only once a month. You must to have a, a lot of money to get access to the credit card. But even when you have a credit card, that this credit card is not with dollars. So you, you can pay, you can buy online, but only with your local money. You know, I, I don't have access to, to buy international and I don't have access to dollars to buy. So, the payment get away. Did you know how many payment get away there is working right now just for Europe? Believe it or not. All that are the option to pay. If you sell something, if you have something to sell, to, to deal with, you can use all of this. But the winner is that. Everybody use that. The problem with that is that we need to have access to dollars. And then we need to put the, the card into the PayPal um, website uh -huh. and then we need to connect 
with PayPal to, to pay. For some weird uh, security reason, some banks block it. So, in example, in Chile, we have 10 banks, and only with two uh, uh, credit card of those banks, you can pay online uh, through PayPal. And the others eight don't let you. And if you use, they um, don't let you have the, the insurance for online buy. So you are uh, totally unprotected online. If, if, you, if, if you resign, so the insurance, you can buy through PayPal. But you have the risk to, to buy uh, without insurance online. So let's talk about PayPal in South America, and let's see the map again. Now the map is changing. This is was the first, and the second one is where we don't have possibility to have a credit card. That's all, you know? Don't, don't wait the time. We have Bolivia, we have Paraguay, Guyana, Guyana, uh, Cuba, and a lot of Central America country. In all those countries, people just don't use it. Uh -huh. What about Joomla? Customers, developers, and website builders in South America. What about us? What about me? I, I, I am a site builder. What about me? How, how can I work if I don't have access to, bu to buy online? If I don't have access to, to buy this extension or this template or, or whatever I, I need to buy online? Let's see the map again. Now, if you see, Venezuela is there. Ecuador is there. Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay is there. And all Central America is there. So all our market came just to Mexico, Guatemala, Ecuador, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. This is our market. This is the market in which we can focus if we want to sell extensions to South America. The rest of the countries is a waste of time. You know, if, if, you, if you have um, something like hosting, in example, a hosting company, um, probably you can uh, charge for a hosting company $2 per month, and Bolivia will say no, it's very expensive. And you can, uh, Peru will say no, it's very expensive. But what we buy when we are online? What the, 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 the side, the side with colors, the, the color side. What we buy? We buy templates, we buy extensions, we buy hosting, we buy support, and we buy updates, in theory. In theory, this is what we buy. In the practice, we don't buy templates. We just don't load by wireless. We don't buy extensions. We don't load by wireless. We paid for hosting. We don't pay for support. We have support through Facebook, um, through Google Plus, through uh, forums. And we paid for updates. So we only paid for updates and hosting. The rest of the items, templates, extensions, support, we, we don't buy. Now, why? We don't buy because if I have to buy a template today, I have to pay for a whole year, and I will use only one for once. So I have to pay for a club membership for one year to have access to all the templates and the support, because the provider charged me the support and one year of template or six months, and I will use just one. In Europe, you can charge for a website um, 500 euros, 
depends how much how much does you charge for a for a website here ship 1000 4000 euros wow i must to come to live here you know We 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 <laughs> we charge we charge two hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred dollars. If we charge more than that, uh, we don't have customers because people is very have the the costumbre. Yeah, usually people uh, pay to a. A cousin, a brother. I have my brother and my brother with wonderful websites using, I don't know, some, 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 yeah, something online, you know. But then we are working right now as Yumla user groups. Uh, we are working very hard in convert our Joomla, the, um, Joomla website builders in professionals one, you know. We want people make money, we want people earn money, and we want people do a good job. So they are learning to buy online. They are learning to buy extensions. They are learning to buy hosting, to buy templates. They are learning to, to buy a uh, template club, in example. But we have always the same problem. Why did I pay uh, uh, $150 for something that I, if I earn $200 and I have to pay $150 and I use just once, why I have to pay so much? So the question is, why the template provider don't sell us just one? Any idea? Yes, you can use only one. So if I buy 12 in a year and I can use only one, why do I need the other 11? Why is it only one? Because it's just one site. No, but in Europe, the other is what? Because I'm doing extensions and I spend for developers, you know, people buying extensions or templates, most of the time they are professionals. They are just like you, website builders. Me, in Europe, they are going to be several sites. That's, that's how Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Okay. Of course, if you're an individual and you're doing just one template, and you're doing one website in a year or in two years, yeah, of course, it's fine. I understand that. Yeah. But most people who are actually buying things, they will buy more than one. They will, they will do several sites around the year. I mean, a lot of you guys are doing. Yeah. Well, that's the reason I, I can think of. Oh, so perfect, perfect. I, One dollar. <laughs> now, um, or yeah, yeah, or or I guess the the most used template provider today is uh, Rocket Theme, but I see that uh, Yo Theme is is 
become very fast into our market because they have a zoo, the content construction kit, and it's become a very used uh, CCK right now in South America. Uh, two weeks ago, I see a website, uh, a property, um, um, Corredor de propiedades, es un realtor, realtor, real estate, a realtor, uh, with uh, search, with fields, with houses, apartments, with filters, all built on Zoo. Amazing, really, really a great job, a great job. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, three hundred dollars. So we have. Right now, we are working with the Joomla Groupon trick. You know, the Groupon. Right now, I have access to two years, the last one and this year from Utheme. All the templates, all the extensions, all the plugins, everything from Utheme. And I paid just one twenty part from the real cost, you know? We take a group, put the money, and they buy. This is all reality right now. This is how we are working. Because people can't pay. And it's not the money, it's the way. How can I pay if the only way I can take the money is through PayPal, you know? Right now, I have a partnership with Cloud Access. I buy a reseller packet, and I have my own dashboard in which I work, and I take my customers to there. It costs me nothing. It's very, very, very cheap. But since the since my bank broke uh, broke it, uh, PayPal, I can't pay. So I have to talk with Gary and tell him we, we, I will have to stop uh, with the partnership because I can't pay, not because I don't have the money, it's because I don't have how to pay you. What did he do? He put me uh, from his money credit in my account. And now I have the opportunity to talk with one of his workers and give him the money to bring him to the United States for the one year so I have, I have the tranquility. I, I, have, I can work relaxed for one year because I know that I have one year paid. But, but that is not a normal way to work. You know, you can travel to Europe to pay your hosting company. <laughs> it's, it's insane. It's insane. You can travel to United States to pay your uh, hosting company. But we need to think as developers, as template providers, as hosting providers, we must to think in how can we earn more money. And to earn more money, we need to sell more. You sell banners. You sell banners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have a geographical target? target? No, you don't use it? OK. You could. You should use it. Actually, yeah, yeah, you should use it. So we need to create some. In which country do I have to concentrate my effort? Where do I have to put my effort right now? We saw the map. We saw how few is right now uh, sure for work, sure for do business. So, is there in South America one single country to work as a Joomla hub? Chile. No, I'm serious. Chile. Right now, right now, we are the most stable country in a social way, in a political way, and in an economical way. We don't have the starts, 
we are a safe country, we have a security commerce country, we have a very stable established dollar, we don't have problems with, with currency, we have access to dollars without problems in physical you, we can go to buy dollars without problem. Uh, we don't have corruption, which is very important in South America. Uh, our major economy comes from cobre, uh, cuprum, uh, mining, yeah, fishing, mining, uh, mining, um, tourism, and it's very, very, very stable. We have social stability, political stability, economical stability, which means we are a very good point of start. For Yumla Day, Guatemala, right next to Mexico, if you see Central America from Panama to Mexico, uh, there is a lot of country, one around the one, one next to the other. When we have when we stay at Yumla Day, Guatemala we discovered that a lot of people came from other countries. Right near, just in the neighborhood. And for some reason, they don't have Joomla user group, they don't have communities, but they go to Guatemala. And they can travel to Guatemala. Now, right now, we discovered that Guatemala is the hub for the Joomla communities in Central America. If you have a very strong community in Guatemala, you have a strong community in Central America. You can do one event in Guatemala, and people come from, from Panama to the north, and can travel from Mexico to the south without problem. Mexico is a very stable country. Why I put out of the list and I let Chile? Because they are they have stability, social, social stability, but they don't have political stability. You know, Mexico is a very complicated country. In, in Mexico, people die every day by murder. You know, we don't have that problem. So, as we discovered that Guatemala is a hub for Yumla communities, Chile, by right now, its stability, is the perfect hub to make business with Latin America. The question is how. How can we do it if we have this did some some one of you uh, uh, visit one someday the cmsmarket.com website you know it? You know it? You, yeah. It was a supermarket for extension, templates, etc. We need something like that in South America. We need a common place where every developers, extension providers, template providers, hosting providers, blogger providers with ta uh, target uh, audience, we need they uh, become in one single place, in one safe single place. So in that way, we can take all that uh, buys from, from the customers and transform it in only one single payment. Then how we can take all this money, all this sell, and then redistribute the money to the provider is a big uh, a big challenge for the big Joomla community. It's not something for one. It's, it's a big challenge for, for a big community. So you, you have to think in how to create partnership. You have to think in how to create associations between different extensions, different developers, to make it happen. Because if we, you as group, as a providers, as a group of providers right now, don't uh, get union, uh, don't go together to make it, invest is in us, it's a waste of time. You have just a few or a little countries where you can sell. 
it's sad. I know it's sad. But you don't have too much work to sell. Uh, you, how many uh, Latin American customers you have? Latin American. You, uh, Radek. Secret. How many <laughs> Latin American? Not that much. Uh, Ten percent? Less. Five percent? Less. One percent. Side ground. How many Latin American customers do you have? Under two percent. You sell something? No, no. Some of you sell something? One or two percent. That's all. Brazil is the is, is yeah. Brazil is the best. The problem they don't speak Spanish. It's just a little problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't speak Spanish. So, uh, We have in Latin America the Joomla Shack template provider, you know, Eddie Tabush. And in Joomla de Guatemala, we were talking about uh, the big Latin American market. And I get really surprised when he, uh, ah, we, were talking, we, were, we were talking because Tito from Joomla Shack is doing support in Spanish. Yeah, and it's writing some blogs in Spanish too, which is something new for Joomla Shack. And we were talking with Edita Bush, and I get really surprised when he told me that he don't have uh, Latin American customers. And they live in Latin America, they work in Latin America, they are Latin American, and they don't have Latin American customers. You know? So, yeah. So it's, it's, a big, it's a big problem. It's a big problem because we are a very strong community and a very big community. So if we are big, if, if we are strong, and we have right now some resource to make it the things in the right way, we need you trust in us and help us to do the things in the right way. You know, But to make it happen, the providers need to rethink in their business models. Because as the business model is working right now with the membership, with the one year support, with the upgrade system, it's not working for us. Because we can't charge per uh, website more uh, the, the amount you, you charge in here. You know, uh, if you charge 5,000 5, euros, you say? 500? 500? From the out, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, we can't we can't charge that amount of money to our customers. So uh, if if we we want to do the things in the right way, but we need help to do it. We need you help us to do it in the right way. And I know it's difficult to rethink the way you are working on, because it's a whole business model done. So we need to think, and we need to to. Uh, create a, a, a supermarket system in which we can have access to a lot of things in one single place. You know, if, if, I, if I will buy a template, I need to buy one template. I don't want the support because we support us as community. We don't buy this support, you know. We don't buy, uh, well, the updates is necessary, but we don't buy so many support. We don't buy um, one year membership. We sometimes just need one thing or two. So it's enough, it's enough to, to create a business model 
with uh, one year of support and one upgrade per year if we can pay that if easy if we went by wars i i send you once a link you remember i send you once yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i told you look <laughs> it's so <Sobe> pro <laughs> it was for free <laughs> We are we are working in that way right now, but uh, if you read a temp if you read a template provider um, uh, agreement license agreement, yeah yeah in the right way, yeah for templates you can't yeah yeah in the in the in the extensions uh, as far as I know there is a lot of extensions that tell you you can use it just in one site for once for yeah oh but the support is just for one perfect the support is just for one And then we can use it. We can use whatever we want, wherever we want. Yes. You can even buy a so, as European, you feel more comfortable knowing that we buy as a group? I mean, it's a you're allowed. Yeah. You're asking for a solution. So, yeah. Yeah. what do you have to realize? Probably. Oh, but to me, it's new. How do you how do you sell your templates? Uh, um, site ground. Are free. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. And the framework. Yeah. yeah. Some of the framework uh, developers or template developers, they have like a basic framework template without the design. Like yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. We know that. There is a lot of free templates out there. So you can build yeah. We know that. We, we know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a, a group I'll buy, it, yeah. and the I in the developers.
of course but, but as you say as, as you say uh, we, we we do understand that you have to put your foot in the table so I, I know uh, to to sell one subscription for 20 sites is a little bit much Yeah. And then when your country gets, uh, and your developers get paid more, you are not going to, to buy a new Google subscription, even if you are with competitive rates that can allow you to do that. So that's, that's a problem that the team should be. We talked yesterday in the summit. It's open the Pandora box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we don't know. We, we don't know what could happen. As Carlos says, maybe, maybe, uh, some solution for a uh, political experience we're having right now, it maybe will cost us uh, a system of start doing, uh, start buying extension for the future. You know, I, I, why I have to change the way I buy if last year I did it in that way. So. I, I, I agree with you. We, we, we have to be careful with, with, with that, you know. We will allow uh, to buy for 20 websites, and the next year we will say, no, just 10. Uh, no. Uh, I know. I, I, I buy by, by for 20 websites. Why, why now I will have to buy for just for 10? An example. So it's, it's, a, it's a theme. It's, it's a. Christopher. We can try to do it. We can try to do it. But we have some. Well, there is not Matias Aguirre here. Uh, you know Matias Aguirre. Perfect. You know that Matias Aguirre works for Red Company. Yeah. You know? Perfect. They pay him monthly. And he gets dollars. But for the uh, Argentine situation, he has to go to the next country and take the dollars in the next country because he can take the dollars in Argentina, because they have a restriction, a full restriction. So he has to go uh, each two months and take the money from the ATM and uh, the, the dollars and keep it from him for two months. And then he can go again and take the money again. So can I work with Matias? Of course, I can. I, I, I like Matias. We are, we are friends. We are very close, actually. But how can I pay him? How can I distribute the money? So Venezuela has $400, $400 per year per person. Limit. Limit. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you can't have more than f uh, $400 uh, per year. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thinking uh, if, I, if I work, in Joomla, if I want to build a, web, a, a big website, and I need to pay a subscription. Between the template provider, between the, um, the extension provider, and some other expenses, I took all the money for the year, just with one site. And the rest of the year, I can do it. So there is a lot of limits for us right now. We can work as a group? Sure, we can. The problem is not if we can. The problem is how we, we then can share the money. We can do it, in example, in Chile, for us, 
it's a very good possibility. Yeah, locally for us, it's a very good possibility. We don't have problem with that because Chile is, is very easy to transfer money from, from one person to other person. We have a very established system to, to share the money. But uh, between countries, no, there is no, there is no option to, to do it. So, the CMS market.com experience. I think it's a good uh, experience to, to think in uh, in the future, you know, to put all your stuff, all your uh, products in the same place. Maybe in Europe you can create uh, a place and put all of them in the same place. Now, I already know you don't feel bad knowing that we share the, the buy, which is a very good news. <laughs> we know that uh, now you know how much problems or troubles we have trying to, to buy online with the limits we have in Argentina, in Venezuela, Brazil, and, and other countries. How, how can we encourage you to give us support in Spanish? You have support in Spanish. You have right now support in Spanish. You have support in Spanish? You want to go to Latin America. You will do it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. You're going. You're ready. You're ready to go to, to South America. The big one, really, yeah, yeah. You know that uh, we have locally hosting company, locals, but you know that uh, the international ones, or the big ones, is only online. We don't have nobody is, is, uh, with some kind of uh, a, 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 a house where, where to sell that uh, just locally, you know? and we can pay it in our local money. You're thinking to, to sell online or, or you're thinking in to, to establish in, in some determinate country? Online, oh, we will have the PayPal problem, the Yeah, yeah, there are some options. We have, we have a, a payment getaway. It's called Transbank. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very, very, very uh, stable platform in Chile. And we have another one that is Servipag uh, that allow you to go with your money to the bank and pay it in cash, you know? And then you can take the money and transfer from one side to another side. It's, it's very easy. It's very easy to, to, to work with that. So maybe you can consider uh, the, the option to use a local uh, payment getaway uh, to take the money. Because you, your tax will be very slow in, in our places yeah, compared to the 21% of here. So maybe it's... It's a, it's an idea. Questions? What do you want to know? Local suppliers. I went. I, I used to work in Chile in another industry, and it's similar issues like providing your suppliers from Europe or the US. They want an issue with the, you know, with the, with the 
It's something we. Yeah, it's something we have to to learn. It's yeah, yeah. It's something we have to learn. We have. Well, actually, after learn how much you charge per site, I'm thinking seriously and start to work in me for Europe. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I and I will and I will keep avoid a, a lot of troubles, you know. I, I I can have a European boss, and he makes the buys, he makes the the extension, and I I just build. It's still a bit difficult because of the uh, money transfer issues. I, I, was, I was working in industrial like around Switzerland, so you know it's a bit different. Yeah, but just just doing things business locally, you, you get rid of the money transfer. Yes, yes, it's a good option. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a very good. Yeah, it's a very good option because, as you said, uh, people learn to do it by itself, by themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Well, not me. I will start to work for Europe. <laughs> it, it's a decision. It's, it's taken. It's taken. Yeah, it's a decision. Next year, next year, I will, I will come to to beyond from my new house in Paris or Italy <laughs> or Germany, I don't know. I don't know, when from from Spain. Okay, okay. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. I can go to Spain. Uh, we are over the time. Yeah, okay. Okay. Any question? No, thank you for the really? Uh, it's clear yeah. the way we're living right now, the problems we have, and how much we really want to be a good customer, but we need help. Help us to, to make it in the right way. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you.